Hey, Tamim. Welcome to this talk show from Mind My Mind. Hi, good morning, Gareth. Dear viewers, let me introduce Ms. Carmen Bedi to you. She comes to us with an experience of over 15 years. She's a trained counseling psychologist with a specialization in child psychology. She's also a trained life coach. This enables her to treat patients of all ages, children from toddlers facing various disorders, learning disabilities, behavioral disorders, as well as adults who continue to deal with these unresolved problems through their lifetime. I have personally witnessed Carmen to take people off medications after a few sessions itself. So I have seen her in action and therefore I think it is uh, very valuable to get her thoughts across to all of you so that we all are aware of how to deal with anxiety disorders a little better. So Carmen, I have seen many cases who have, which have you know, been uh, in consultation with you and they have come with heavy medications and you have worked hard to kind of get them out of medications. In fact, one of the most beautiful uh, compliments that I have heard from a client's child was that I think when you told me that it was the most beautiful compliment that any counselor can actually get as a validation of the beautiful work uh, that is done and coming from a child's mouth for her parent where she says that you know whenever she sees her parent upset uh, you know she just says oh, wali aunty se baat kar lo. I think a very very beautiful compliment what do you have to say about anxiety disorders? Why uh, do people uh, get onto medications and how do you actually get them off medications? So, hi. Yes, that day when that child made that comment, it made my day too because it was something which was really heartening for me also. So, anxiety, depression are words which we hear quite often these days. What is anxiety? What is depression? We are very few of us actually know the meaning of anxiety and depression. Picking up anxiety, for example, anxiety, what is anxiety? Anxiety is nothing uh, but, a, I would, if I talk in layman's term, it is nothing but an irritation, something which is not comfortable with you, something which is internally dis uh, disturbing you, and you are not uh, in sync with uh, the things around and yourself. So anxiety invariably is caused by internal stress or external stress. We all have a lot of stress these days, I understand. Little babies have their own stress, adults have their own stress. And during COVID, I've noticed because so much of isolation has happened with generations from kids to adults, everybody's becoming very self-centered. So, and you led, led a very individualistic life for two years. So social connects had reduced but social media had increased so social media had a lot of false information so basically the stresses were caused because of the discrepancy and the difference between the real world and the fact the world you created for yourself and the people around you that caused the stress that stress caused the anxiety anxiety caused all those symptoms of palpitations Various things, sweating, restlessness, irritation, anger. Anger has really increased because of anxiety. So all these things, the ultimate answer, any parent or any adult or anybody, any client would be, oh, needs to go to a medic, go through medication. Yes, medication could be important for some. Medication might be required by some. But is medication the only solution? No, it is not. Along with medication also, you do need someone to talk to, someone to hear you, someone to understand the root cause of the problem. Medication is going to just be a chemical which is going to numb a certain parts or activate a certain parts in your body. But what is going on in your mind, it will not direct you what to think. It will not direct you what to do. So the answer to this is, from my experiences, is talk to the person. As a counselor, as a psychologist, my forte, I would say, is 
understand the client. You might take one or two extra sessions with the client, but listen to the person. Every person wants to speak. Every person wants someone in their mm -hmm. life to hear them. And we are not good listeners anymore. We need to listen to that person. What is bothering that person? What is irritating that person? Understand that person's thought process. Why is the person feeling like that? Why is the person behaving like that? Once we've got that under control, we can take care of the issues. In case we feel it is a situation the person has put themselves in, we withdraw the person out of that situation slow and steady. In case we feel that the patient is just overthinking, uh, we help the patient to speak out and reduce the process of overthinking. It takes a while. Nothing happens overnight. Medication, the only difference between medication and counseling is that medication starts showing some effect in 15, 20 days. But long term, it's not a solution. So you need to interact, talk and handle the problem. Now, I always tell this to most of my clients. When you get anxiety, what is it that you need to do? A lot of these kids come and say, or these people, uh, clients come and say, what do I do? I've got anxiety. Now what do I do? What do I? You know, they're restless. They have life like that. Nothing. Just take deep, five deep breaths. Run away for a jog. Go in for a shower. I'm telling you very basic things might sound very mundane, but they really help you. And these are things you can do it yourself instantly. You like to talk, ring up a person whom you're con con uh, confident with and you can talk to that person. Don't feel judged. Just talk. Don't feel that you're you whatever you're speaking, the other person is judging you. Don't perceive from the other person's point of view. Just talk. So you can run, go for a run, go for a bath, listen to music, just talk to somebody and take a deep breath. And believe me, anxiety begins and ends only within a few seconds and minutes. You'll be fine. So what you're saying is that if those first few seconds we learn how to manage them, is the time that you can actually start controlling. Controlling it. There would be times you can't control it, but go to the next step. You'll, you'll fail once, but you'll succeed the next time. There is no success without failure. So keep at it. Be strong. Trust yourself. Have confidence in yourself. However good, bad, and different you are, trust yourself. Have, you know, believe in yourself. Be proud of yourself. However you are, stand in front of the mirror and say, I'm good. Even if I've had a bad day, even if my boss is angry with me, even if my teacher, my parent, anybody is angry with me, I learn from that. But end of the day, I stand in front of the mirror and say, no, I'm good. I did my best. And that, so there are various steps and that will take care of your anxiety. We really need to uh, work on ourselves, our confidence, our self-esteem. Yes, Gurit, you were I, asking something. So I hear a couple of things uh, come in here. One, I hear you alluding to the psychosocial, uh, biological aspects uh, as a first uh, pickup. Because uh, what you're saying essentially is that when you're in, uh, when you're on medications, you're addressing the biological side of it. However, the psychosocial aspects also need to be taken care of simultaneously. They cannot hold under any circumstances. So that They are hand in glove. They're hand there in glove. There is no way. And, okay. uh, you know, I remember years back or something, psychology, uh, uh, psychiatrists did not believe in uh, counseling or dealing uh, with psychologists. By and by, they realize it too. That, uh, you know, yes... They try to counsel, but again, there is a difference. The specializations are different between a psychologist and a psychiatrist. So along with the psychiatrist, if you are on medication, you need counseling. It's, it's, it's not that this one is better than that. And it's a very common thing in our country, which says like, oh, I the doctor saab ke paas thi, do din mein mera bacha ho It's not that. It's, it's, it's a process. It's a combination. It's a connection. Connect of both the things and the person individually, which really makes a difference. So for, you will for, it. for yeah. a long-term solution, which is which which will be kind of lifetime, you do need to address the emotional, social, and the psychological bodies of 
Yes, yes, absolutely. You know, a lot of clients come with me. I thought, I think, I feel. The person is like, no, you think for yourself. You perceive for yourself. You judge your, don't, don't see what the other person is thinking. That's the other person's perspective. We cannot. So that, why I'm repeating this line is because a oh, lot of anxieties and stresses begin with this. You know, you so undermine yourself. From the thought process and then exactly. starts Exactly. Mind can really, really, it's a beautiful organ of your body, but it can really, really uh, mess up your system in case you don't understand it. It's a sweet little thing, but so you need to understand your mind. and the body are so tightly coupled that we forget yes. that there might be a difference and these aspects of ours need to be fed and nurtured differently. Absolutely. So Absolutely. Coming, the other thing I heard from you is, uh, you know, people who are anxious uh, are normally, uh, you know, they have unknown fears. They are low on their confidence. They are low on their self-esteem and a host of these kind of issues. And what I hear you saying, you know, through your examples uh, that it is important to address these underlying aspects to be able to deal with your anxiety and stress better. Did I hear that correctly? Did I understand that correctly? Absolutely right. So when a client comes to you and the client says that, oh, you know, abhi tak to theek tha, suddenly anxiety ho gayi, do mene tak to theek tha, ye to iska pressure ho gaya. No, it's not happened overnight. It's happened over a period of time. It's, it's showing up now. You're feeling it now because the behavior has come out. The, the client is now showing its anxiety. It's showing its behavior. So what is it that had been going on for so long inside the client is what needs to be addressed. The external thing is just a temporary phase. Plus, it's a very latter phase of the whole process. We are just Excellent. looking at the front. And what we do is we pick up the incident just before the anxiety. Oh, oh you know, this happened. So that's why this person has got anxiety. No, it's God knows what happened. When is why the anxiety has set. It. It's not that. And we all concentrate on that one incident. No, it's not that one incident. It's the, it's, 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 it's a, a simulation of, 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 oh, yes, yes, yes. And a belief system that you kind of build out. inside you too. And can. Absolutely. Absolutely. Excellent. And that's where most of us go wrong. Excellent. So, so, so I think the takeaway for all viewers here is anxiety is something that each one of us feels. Some of us, however, are unable to deal with it when it is ongoing and when we are not able to comprehend our own basis of survival you know, through the psychosocial and biological bodies. Uh, and, and that is why we start facing these problems. I think the main takeaway is to understand what makes us anxious. And in case it is a recurring issue, it is something that needs to be addressed, you know, by meeting a counseling psychologist, by meeting a clinical psychologist, or by meeting a psychiatrist, but in all probability, uh, if the problem is severe enough, it has to be a combined approach by everyone to take this forward and to bring you to a uh, lifelong solution that works. Thank you, dear viewers. Come in. I think we will continue our series of talks on more of these different aspects that you have spoken of today. I think the viewers would love to hear it and uh, it will be great takeaways for everyone. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank Thanks. you, Gurit, and thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.